All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to properly use reverb. If you want that big sound, but you don't wanna drown out your vocal, this is the trick you wanna use. First and foremost, we're going to set up the reverb. Okay, this is the vocal. Funny how you stay chasing three weeks later than he races. We're gonna to have to create a send. And so I'm gonna send out to bus three right here, okay? And I'm gonna bring that to zero dB. And then here, I'm gonna add a compressor to the end of my reverb. And then here, we have the key on this top left, and then we put it in bus three. And so what that's going to do is that that external aux bus three is going to now trigger this compressor. So with sidechain compression, we're triggering the compressor from an external source. And in this case, we're triggering a compressor on the reverb that's triggered by the vocal, all right? So every time the vocal comes in, the reverb comes down just a little bit, right? And so what this allows is your listener to have the perceived notion of a big space, but that big space isn't going to overcrowd the vocal and make the vocal muddy. So now let's take a listen to it, off, then on. Funny how you stay chasing Three weeks later than he races Feeling like you're busy Acting like you don't really miss me Okay, now on. Funny how you stay chasing Three weeks later than he races Feeling like you're busy Acting like you don't really miss me So in those gaps, the reverb really swells back up and comes back to a normal volume, right? So you still have the clarity of the vocal but you still have the perceived sense of a space that's a lot bigger. Use this anytime you use a big reverb, but you still wanna maintain the clarity in your vocal. Good luck.